Mommy is mommy. I mean, th there's no definition for the way she mothers all of us in the choir. Whether you are new, you are old, she knows everyone. Even she knows our names. Sometimes you maybe wonder, does mommy know my name? She does. And since I joined the choir in 2012. She's been a mother to me. Fortunately, I also work at VRE, so she's been a mother to me at work. And it's been awesome. She gives good advice. She even comments on our hairstyles and all that. Uh, on her birthday, I just want to wish her all the best and pray for long life that God would bless her, that all the blessings she has bestowed on us would be given back to her in a hundredfold. Thank you. To talk about what um, Reverend Dr. Joyce I brings to the choir, uh, it's, it can't be described. Many people don't know that she is a, a fashionista. She selects um, the costume that we wear, makes input into the design and everything. Um, once it's done, we show it to her and then she'll go like, okay, ladies, we can do this to the hand. Um, what about if we have a bow at the side? So uh, these little details um, are some of the things that she brings into the choir. Apart from the fact that she is the mother figure that we have, our spiritual head, our executive chairperson, the leadership that she brings on board, it makes us stand out. And her name being synonymous to excellence also rubs on us because if we are starting a program and we are one minute late, you feel the heat. You feel the heat whether you're on stage or you are in the production queue. So all in all, I, I believe that Reverend Dr. George I has been um, a pillar to the choir. I was privileged and had the opportunity to have lived with Mama Joyce for close to 10 years. And someone asked me, how is Joyce, how are you like? And I told the person, Mommy is a hard angel. With Joyce, I, integrity has to be way up there. You have to hold it. Now for the choir, I, I think if you, you are a choir director or if you are anybody who plans to start a choir, you have to pray to God to give you a joy side because you need that person who will be there for you, to guide you. With Mama Joyce, you just can't get up and go for the program. You have to always be in tune with the Spirit and then what the Spirit tells you is what you have to do. So really she has um, guided our footsteps and um, brought us this far and for me 75 years is just amazing and we we just want to sing our hearts out to the Lord and praise God for giving us such a wonderful mother we love you mama it has been 75 amazing years in the life of our dear mother mama Joyce Mommy, you deserve to be celebrated every single day because we know how you love God and how you love the things of God. You have been the Yasantua of the 21st century, even though you do not carry a gun. You have carried choral music beyond the shores of Ghana and have put harmonious choral on the world stage. You've been so instrumental in our ministry. Oh, Mommy, what great length won't you go for us? You've been awesome and we thank God for your life. You've been a true icon, you've been our confidant, a mentor, and above all, our mother who inspires and motivates us all the time. We are so grateful, Mommy. Personally, one thing I have learned from you is that you do not compromise on standards at all. Your passion for excellence is exemplary, Mommy. Many young enterprising women look up to you for inspiration. And so we ask for more blessed years ahead that you will continue to do more for God and for country. Many more years to do more for Harmonious Choral as well. We thank God for your life and we pray that you continue to be a blessing to many, many generations, even generations unborn. We love you so much, Mommy. Happy, happy 75th birthday. And I am one of the many daughters of Auntie Joyce. I had the opportunity to live with mommy for some years and there were so many things that I learned from her but one thing that stands out for me actually is her faith in God 
There were times that we didn't know where we were going to get money to organize our concerts and our events. And she still trusted the Lord to come through and still put plans in place. And the Lord too came through. And it made me trust the Lord the more and it deepened my faith in God. And so mommy, I want to thank you for that experience. On the occasion of your 75th birthday, I'd like to wish for God's blessings upon your life for strength and for wisdom to do more for the people of Ghana and the world at large. Happy birthday, mommy, and God bless you. Mwah. And today is a special day. We are celebrating a mogio, a sort of transcendent blessing. That is Dr. Joyce Ai, who, while I was younger and was learning to be an organist, could not have imagined that a time like this would come where I'm known of her enough <laughs> to send a birthday message or anything of this kind. And so <laughs> it is with deep appreciation that I honor Auntie Joyce today. What Auntie Joyce is, is a gem that does not come around very often. And I mean, to me, she's a mother. She's a mother to uh, Habonios Coral as well. And to, in, in a sense, she's emblematic of everything choral music in, in Ghana today, isn't she? And so, you know, she is worthy of every honor that she gets today. And so, mommy, today, I would like to say, may God richly bless you. Your insistence on excellence is a big part of all of what I am today. It's contributed to what, what drives me and I am sure what drives the choir as well. And we are what we are today because of the, the great grace that you've brought into our very lives. And so may God extend your days even more than we have seen. God is blessing you and he will continue to bless you so that you continue to be this amazing to, to all of us. I love you so much, Mommy. What Mommy brings to the harmonious choral is Mommy. <laughs> like she brings motherhood to the choir one thing i've realized about mommy is that she does not only take interest in the choir she takes personal interests in our lives as individuals so mommy wants to know what you're doing now she wants to know if you're in school or you're working if you're dating somebody and if you intend to marry the person is that personal there are lots of things that we as individuals myself would like to do but I look at it and I'm like, what will mommy say if she sees this on social media? Or somebody tells her that your child was doing this and doing that. So mommy brings a correction fluid, for instance, to our lives as individuals. And it's something that some of us have really prayed for. Myself, I grew up without a mother for the longest time. And then to walk into a choir where somebody takes personal interest in my life and becomes the mother that I've always wanted growing up is special to me. And for mommy to be 75, the big 75, come on people, Ayoko is 75. We can only praise God and thank God and bless God for giving her to us as a gift. She's an absolute gift to us as individuals at the Harmonious Choir and to the choir. She's our number one fan but she's our number one critic too. So by the time you criticize us, she's already done that. And we're already aware that you're going to say, Ashada is not nice or something. She's already said it. Oh, Ashada is not nice oh, or something like that. And we really appreciate her that she's able to share her life with us, total strangers brought together by the love that she so much shows to us. And we bless God every day for 75 beautiful years. Mommy, we love you so much. You know we are stubborn sometimes, but then we love you so much and we pray that the goodness of the Lord leads you unto many more years. Whatever the Lord has said upon your life, we pray that it comes to being and that we tap into your blessing. In future, when we become half the woman that we, you are, we know that we have made it. Happy birthday, Mommy. We love you. I am so proud and happy to be your son, your only black son, the whole world. I'm the only black son of a fair woman. 
Dr. Joyce Ayi. Mommy, I count myself lucky and blessed to ever come your way. I believe it's um, a divine arrangement. You have been a destiny helper, a destiny changer. On behalf of the Harmonious Chorale, the Music Fraternity, the African Chorale and Gospel Championship, as well as the Olive Organs, I say a big thank you to you for your continued support of choral music, not just in Ghana, but in the whole of the sub-region. Mommy, on the occasion of your 75th birthday, I salute you and I pray God's blessing on you forever and ever. We love you, Mom. I say a big thank you to you for your continued support of choral music, not just in Ghana, but in the whole of the sub-region. Mommy, on the occasion of your 75th birthday, I salute you and I pray God's blessing on you forever and ever. We love you, Mom. Talking about the impact about my sister, I would like to say that she started when she was in Achimota School, where she was a senior uh, prefect for the girls. So obviously there was something about her that made her influence felt right back in uh, secondary school. And then when she was in the University of Ghana, she was also a member of the SRC executive. So her influence started right from, from there. Um, she has worked in so many places that I don't recall, but uh, she worked with the museum, she worked with oh, so many places before she became a politician. And as a politician, I personally recall several times that a lot of people have told me that she's so nice, she's so down to earth. You know, some people when they get posts, the, the get airs. My sister has never been like that. Um, so she has made it very easy for people to approach her with whatever issues uh, that they have. On the political side, she was first in the Ministry of Education and then she went to uh, information. But I believe that in the Ministry of Education, she made uh, the greatest um, impact. Um, as I said, the teachers, the headmistress, the headmasters found it very easy to um, communicate with her in whatever ways that they found necessary to discuss uh, their work. And, and because my sister is very easy to get on with, she has made friends high and low uh, and they have lasted practically from the beginning of most of those uh, friendship. As the CEO of the Salt and Light Ministries, that one, the impact is huge nationwide and worldwide because there's a radio program, there's a newspaper, and I can say that as far as Christianity is concerned, she has made a huge impact on many, many, many people all over the world through her program and her articles. Uh, Auntie Joyce really brings to the work of uh, the National Cathedral really deep understanding of our society uh, because she herself really is an institution in our country. Uh, she does straddle uh, all the sectors, uh, the political. Uh, we remember Auntie Joyce as this young Minister for Information and the Rollins. Uh, as a member of the private sector, uh, her work with the mines uh, as a religious person, uh, her work, uh, salt and light, uh, as a minister of the gospel. Uh, but for me, critically for the National Cathedral, her role really as a cultural person and, and what she's really done uh, for uh, the almost music uh, or the at least sacred music sphere in Ghana. Uh, at the level of the cathedral, I think the, one of the key elements of making the cathedral popular and acceptable will be the existence of a major, major choir. And so as uh, Auntie Joyce celebrates her birthday, 
I want to remind her that her work is not complete. In fact, her major work is yet to begin. And that is really helping us uh, build a solid uh, choir for the National Cathedral. So, Auntie Joyce, as we've discussed, uh, this is when the work really begins. Uh, you've always, and God has really given you the energy, the elegance, uh, and really the strength. And so we wish you a very happy birthday, uh, 75th, although you don't look like it. And we really look forward to God still using you to fulfill his purposes for this country and for the National Cathedral. Happy birthday. Dearest Auntie Joyce, happy birthday. I bring you greetings from Syracuse University, from my colleagues and I, and we want to send this greeting in honor of you on your special day. We have very fond memories of meeting you and seeing all the good work you do in Accra back in 2019. And, uh, we just want to wish you well and let you know that you are such a blessing to so many, even where you are and far beyond across the globe. Thanks for all you do to support music and the arts, and especially for what you've done to support young musicians. So we honor you and we are grateful that we got to meet you in person a few years back. Here are our heartfelt wishes for a wonderful happy birthday. The first time I talked to Auntie Joyce was, I think it was in 2010, around 2010. Um, it was over the phone. The woman she picked my call, she said, Mensa. She, she didn't say Mensa is Sylvia or George, Mensa is Sylvia. She just mentioned Mensa. And right then, um, we clicked. I mean, right then, I knew she had a good heart. Um, Mom, God bless you. God bless you for all that um, you are doing for uh, to uplift the image of uh, choral music. Um, I hope others will emulate uh, to spread the wonders of Ghanaian choral music or African choral music in and out of this continent. May you live to be a centenarian. God bless you. God bless you, Mom. I love you. Happy birthday. I love my Auntie Joyce for many things, but I'll share three. The first is her sense of style. Wow. Or so far, or more life. You can be sure she will always be appropriately dressed for each event and with panache. The second thing I love about my Auntie Joyce is that despite all she has achieved with God's grace, she's well grounded. See, I kind of fancy man. My Auntie Joyce, on Chiano Hukra. She remembers most of us by name, the well known as well as the not so well known. And she goes ahead and shows interest in our welfare. Last but not the least, my Auntie Joyce just loves the Lord and she epitomizes 1 John 4, 20. And she's intentional about it. Auntie Joyce. Afishiapa, you have been a blessing to all of us. So today I bless you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May he continue to keep you healthy as you age strong. You won't even use a walking stick unless you want to because of your sense of style. Happy, happy, happy birthday. On this occasion of the celebration of the 75th birthday, for our beloved mother, the great icon of Africa, Reverend Dr. Joyce Rosalind Ayi, the ACGC would like to join the voices that reverberate throughout the continent in celebrating 
one of the greatest leaders in business, in the arts, in the space of spiritualism. We want to thank you, Mum, for really going out of your way in elevating our craft, helping us package it in a manner it deserves, and really affording it the status it deserves. And may God grant you a shining light ahead of you, and may the wisdom that you continue to share with us spread further afield and touch every corner of this continent and for every lover of music, be it a chorister, a potential patron, and or an ordinary uh, follower of the craft. May God bless you. Thank you. Hey, yo, Mokome. Wow. A semi sesquicentennial? That's a great blessing. Happy, happy birthday, Ma. You've been a wonderful soul. A great, great friend. A remarkable model. You've been mama to many. And the example that a lot of people aspire to be. God bless you for the great things you've been to many of us. To me, you've been a neighbor, you've been a floor mate, you've been the friend, sometimes my concert partner. But more importantly, you've been my guide. And I want to thank God for the blessing that we all have in you. Thank you so much for being a blessing in my life and the life of my family and friends. Happy semi sesquicentennial year. As a mom, she always strives for the best for her children. And I've been a big beneficiary of that, together the vocal lessons Kura, Ghana. What we might have for was what she did for us during the launch of her maiden album, Nyame Yosahim. She was present at the launching and she wrote copies for all members of the Harmonious Chorale and bought a strap for loved ones. This we saw as a great gesture to us and as a big investment into our ministry. Not the time that she has been a pillar to us, I mean for us, giving us um, much more advices on how to run the choir and linking us to people that would support our ministry and many, many other things. She has also given us the platform for us to minister uh, at Sunny FM on a weekly games program on Sunny FM. And that has given us so much mileage and has promoted our work as a choir. On behalf of the Vocal Essence Choral, Mama Joyce, I want to say God bless you and God give you much of His favor, much of His blessings. She should, should protect you divinely. And everything that you fervently pray about, may God grant it to you. Happy birthday, Mama Joyce. Auntie Joyce has been one of our backbones ever since she met us in 2010. She's been a mother, an advisor, and a special manager to the Symphonials. She made sure we attended all programs organized by the Salt and Light Ministries and the Harmonious Chorale to minister. Little did we know that she was giving us the platform to grow and also be recognized. She will go through our program outline with us, correct, and give ideas. At the end, she will support us financially to, to be able to execute all programs. She admonishes us to be time conscious and will always go like this during concerts. The Symphony House, we are starting exactly at 6 p.m. Even if you are not dressed up, you will start very disciplined. Auntie Joyce, the Symphony House is where we are now largely because of you. 
and we are grateful. As you celebrate your 75th birthday, on behalf of the Symphonials, I say, may the good Lord bless, protect, and keep you. Amen. We wish to celebrate you, Reverend Dr. Joyce Ayi, on the occasion of your Diamond Jubilee. You have been a material enabler of our journey to our present situation among the critically acclaimed youth choirs in Ghana so far. We give thanks to Providence for your life, and we look forward to traveling with you in power to your centenary. May God richly bless you, Reverend Dr. Joyce Ayi. Happy birthday. My name is Father Andrew Nilante Campbell, parish priest of Christ the King Catholic Church in Cantonment, Sucra. Indeed, it's a, it's a great privilege and a great honor to be asked to give birthday greetings to my dear twin sister, Joyce Ayi. Yes, the two of us are twins. I'm, I'm the Kakra. I was born last because we were born on the same, same year, 1946 the same month, March, and the same day, the 27th of March. The only thing is, Joyce was born in the morning at 8 o'clock. I was born in the evening at 5.30, so I'm Kakra. So I just want to take this opportunity, Joyce, to say thank you. You've been such a wonderful support to me over the years. You've known me a long time, long time. And all these years that I'm doing my work with the lepers and the street children and the underprivileged, you've always been around. You've always been there to support me. You've always been there to, to pray for me. The beautiful letters you send me, ensuring me that you, you have never forgotten me in prayer and supporting me and backing me up all the time in prayer with the various works and challenges I have before me. So all I can do is on this occasion, Joyce, is to say thank you. Wish you a happy and a blessed birthday. And thank you for the wonderful support you've given me over the years. Thank you for all your prayers. Thank you for all the support in cash and kind in every way You've always been there for me. Anytime I've called upon you and asked you for help and assistance, asked you for your support, you've always been there. So all I can do is on this, our birthday, our 75th birthday, God indeed has blessed you and he's blessed me to reach this day of our 75th birthday. All I can do is to thank God for the gift of your life and the gift of my life. And just ask God to continue to bless you, give you good health and strength Continue to bless you with your work, especially with the young people, with your choir, the harmonious choir, such a wonderful choir. And all the young people that you're in touch with and that you support. You've been an inspiration to so many people. You've touched the lives of so many and given them hope and encouragement. So Joyce, God bless you. God bless you for all you've done for us. And I thank God that I'm, I can call you my twin, my twin, that you've been so good to me all these years. Joyce. God bless you. Happy 75th birthday. God be with you. Blessings. Amen. It is said that there are two important days in a person's life. The day they are born and the day they discover why. And so we are here to celebrate and honor the woman who discovered the purpose of her life. And because of that, all of us who have gotten to know her have been enriched by it. I want to thank you for showing that excellence as a way of life permeates everything we do. And therefore we should strive to excel, to give our very best in everything. Thank you also for teaching us that you can be a child of God and a true child of Africa. I love the way you are a walking advertisement of what an African should be like and what an African should do. For these and many others, Sister Joyce, I want to say thank you. In the words of King David, 
may the goodness and mercy of God continue to follow you all the days of your life. I wish on behalf of the people called Methodists to wish her a happy birthday anniversary. Auntie Joyce, we wish you well. We ask that the Lord will continue to bless you. May you age in grace and may the days ahead be full of the blessings and the favor of God upon your life. I have known Auntie Joyce for quite some time, but let me just come from the time I was the Protestant chaplain at KNUST. She would visit with the Harmonious Chorale for performances at the Great Hall. These were times when they would come with the soothing music of the group to students and to the people in Kumasi. Those times we had various interactions and through that I saw her to be a woman who loved the Lord. I can also say that if there are people who have sustained Kura music in Ghana, Reverend Dr. Joyce Ayi is one of them because of the role she has played with the harmonious Kura. And to this we say, Ayiko. She is one person who loves the Lord and would always be part of the prayer meeting organized by the heads of churches in Ghana. She would also lead in the exhortation. Her contributions have been very, very heartwarming. She is versatile and you can rely on her at any time when it comes to the things of God. This special location, as I used to call her, Mama Joyce, the Methodist people say, Happy birthday. God bless you. I've known Reverend Dr. Joyce Ayi for a long time now. But then for the past close to 10 years, I came very close to her and I saw her as a Christian icon, a great model for the Christian church in Ghana. Somebody who loves the Lord from her heart. And I've had the privilege of ministering with her on the same platform. And her enthusiasm is simply attractive. On this day, I wish you, Auntie Joyce, happy birthday. May the Lord continue to bless you with long life. May you enjoy good health. I pray that you continue to be fruitful and productive in the vineyard of the Lord. God richly bless you. I am a good 18 months older than she is. Um, when we talk about memories, I can say since her mother died that I'm the one person who has known her all her life from day one. Uh, we grew up, people thought that we were twins. And of course, apart from our color differences, we look very much alike, we talk alike, our gestures are alike. So we had a good time 
trying to uh, deceive people and saying that we were twins. And we were the same size for many, many years. And then she went to Achimota school, I went to Ebri Girls. And of course, we wrote to each other literally every week. So she knew everything about Ebri Girls and I knew everything about uh, Achimota school. And my mother used to say that when she went home on holidays before I did, she wouldn't talk, she would hardly eat. But the day I arrived, we would talk till midnight. And it is interesting that uh, she was my maid of honor. She was the very person who made her own dress as well as that of the bridesmaids. And since then, we have still been together. She's my best friend, she's my confidant. And we normally, each time we meet and we are talking, we'll be giggling and pretending we're still young girls. Um, it's been an interesting journey as uh, uh, my sister. My Nana is the kindest person I've ever met. She is caring, she listens to you whenever you need to be listened to, and she will teach you what you need to do. She's a great listener, and honestly, I would never want to have her any other way. My Nana, when I'm with her, she'll laugh with me, she'll talk with me, anything. I'll listen to her, she listens to me. And it's honestly some of the greatest moments I've had with her that I really cherish in my heart. On your birthday, Nana, I would like to hug you. I would like to talk to you, speak to you, hang out with you. Because Nana, I love you. My Nana is the best person in the world. I wouldn't want to have her any other way. She'll laugh with me, she'll dance with me, she'll talk to me, she'll do anything with me. I love her so much. And that's why on her birthday, I want to make it the most memorable birthday she's ever had. I love you, Nana. Um, I love her very much and I always feel like I can always talk to her no matter what and I always love spending time with her even though she's busy most of the time and I can't always be with her. I'm really excited to celebrate her birthday and I want to make as much time as possible so we can make it very special and I really hope that I can celebrate as many birthdays with her as possible. I love you a lot and I can't wait for you to come home and for us to cut a cake together. I have had the fortunate pleasure of being Dr. Joyce Ayi's son. Um, behind me is my family, um, Biko, Kofi and Ayoko Menu. And next to me is my lovely wife, Valerie Menu. Um, we want to wish Mummy a happy birthday, happy 75th birthday. 75 years is no small feat, and she has managed to do this 75 years and still stay sprightly and young and vivacious and kind and generous, and just a great example of the human spirit. You know, I mean, Mami really is, um, you know, one of those rare gems who seems nice from afar. And as you get closer, is even nicer. You know, what she's been able to accomplish in her life um, is, you know, nothing short of amazing. And there are numerous, countless other stories amongst Ghanaians like that, of people who've made it from very humble beginnings. And Mami is one of those you know, fantastic examples of, you know, uh, somebody who has, um, you know, done very well for herself. I would like to wish my sister a very happy 75 years. As I said, I'm 18 months old. I wish I can wait for her to join me, but she should stay where she is. I ask for God's blessings for her, long life with health so that she can continue doing the work that she's been doing and impact uh, all manner of people, both high and low, and especially that she can nurse the harmonious choral up and up and up and up to harmonious children also uh, become uh, another choir while she is still living. So let's all wish Nana a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Nana. Hip, hip, hip. <laughs>